This is our home. This is where I got babysat and now where I babysit. This is where I walked to Madrona. This is where I walked to Chinook and now Tai. This is where we had family parties. This is where our grandmothers lived, our cousins lived, and aunts and uncles lived. We're all connected somehow. Even if we don't have family here, it's like we're all family. This is our home where everyone started at zero. We have friendships in this house and we also have family here. Almost 90 students of Highline live here in the first mobile home park. This presentation is about our situation. I would love and appreciate if everyone would put the, themselves in their shoes and think about what you guys would do and think about if you were in our situation. All the families who live here want you guys to show empathy and understand us in any way you can. And for those who have the power to do something about this, please understand that we are fighting about something very important to a family. It's about a home every family should have. Just like a lot of people have said, we have put in money into our homes. And if we leave this, these homes, we're going to leave so many memories and friendships and families and our education could be lost forever. We talked with seven people who preferred not to be recorded. One of the people we talked to was Alex. Alex is about to turn 18. He has been living here since he was a baby. Alex says what he likes most about living in the first is that there's peace. He's made close friendships and he likes the atmosphere. He said moving to a new school would affect him because he wouldn't have the same classes or teachers and he would have to make new friends. He wouldn't get to bond with teachers the same way and the confidence be between them wouldn't be the same either. Then we started talking about his experience living in the first. His favorite memory from living here is making friends and hanging out with hanging out at the park. Something Alex would like to say to the people here is support us. We'd appreciate it if you stand with us till the end. Then we went on to interview his little sister, Andrea. Something Andrea said she would struggle with is that if we had to relocate, she wouldn't know anyone, and catching up with her classes would also be hard for her. Andrea's favorite memory here is hanging out and playing with her cousins. Something Andrea would like to tell people here is to help us, don't leave us. Andrea is only 11 and goes to Madrona. She thinks about our home situation several times a day. Um, moving from here would affect me, like, I wouldn't be able to become a, de a dentist, because right now I'm going to PSC and I'm taking the dental assistant class. Um, how would moving affect your relationships with your friends or teachers? At Tai, um, moving would affect my relationship with my friends. Like I, I wouldn't be able to see them as much, and my teachers, I wouldn't see them because like I, I don't see them outside of school. So, um, what would you tell the people with power? Um, I would tell them to not like uh, take away the mobile home park because it's like some of some of our families can't afford to buy a new house. And, uh, and then, like, so, like, we've been living here for a, lot of, uh, for a long time, and we put money into our houses, and it's just, it's just not right to, to get, like, to get um, relocated. We also interviewed Raimundo. Raimundo is 14 and is a freshman at Tai. He's been living here more than 10 years. He says... Moving would affect both my relationships and education because I would have to make new friends and the learning out of Tai would be much different. I have lots of friends that I would never see again. Starting somewhere new would be like starting back at elementary. Something I'd like to tell people here is to put yourself in our shoes. We don't have as much power as you do. If you saw this situation from our perspective, you would feel powerless. This situation is making me worried about my social life education, and future. Lastly, we talked to Juan Ventura. Juan is a freshman at Tai. Juan has been living here his whole life. Juan wants you to know that living in this community has been great. It's a really nice neighborhood. At Tai, I have lots of friends that also live in the trailer park. 
It would be difficult to leave Tai because the school gives me lots of support. Some of my favorite memories are when we would all gather up and pay, play with, with our friends. My family really likes it here. Most of us would be upset to move. All of the memories and close friendships we've made over the years would go to waste. My name is Crystal Sanchez. I go to Chinook Middle School and I am 12. How would this affect your family? It could affect them in a lot of ways. It could be hard for them to find a new home for our the whole family. I know there's some people who have children who have disabilities and maybe the like their therapies or doctors are close by from here. And if they were to move away or they would be farther away, it would be harder for them to get the help that they need. What's your favorite memory live, that you have living here? Maybe the how well all of us around here get get along. Maybe like uh like there's a lot of like like families like that live around here. Like there would be uncles and then there would be cousins and all type. They'd probably like have like meetups, like parties or like just memories that you could always have in your in your mind. We talked to Diego Hernandez, a 16-year-old who goes to Tai. When we asked him how this would affect their education if you had to move, he said, So I'm actually living here with my aunt. I don't have my mom or dad here, so it would affect me a lot because Tai is a closest school. It's the easiest where I can go, so yeah, it would be very difficult for me if we had to move to a new place, both because of my education and everything in general. We interviewed Leticia Martinez, and what she said was impactful. We moved here 17 years ago. We have three children. One son is about to graduate high school. My daughter is in elementary, and my youngest is in the bilingual program, an opportunity that my other students didn't have. And that doesn't exist in many other schools. It will be a huge change for my oldest because he's almost ready to graduate. It, will, it could make things really difficult for him. And my youngest wouldn't be able to continue in the bilingual program, so she won't be able to continue learning Spanish in school. Moving would make it difficult to continue to support our children because we are low-income families. We are in the last days, as the owner of the park has told us we need to be out by the end of the month. My children are asking, what is going to happen then? We'll be able to get into our homes, and we tell them, we don't know. Edgar Mendoza is 14 and is a freshman at Tai. He's been living here for about six years. He says my experience has been good. My favorite memory is my summers with my friends. Moving to a new school would not be hard because he'll be different teachers, classmates, and I wouldn't be close to friends because it'll be farther. This would affect my family because they would have to take the bus or train to go places. This house means to me family and friends coming over. We've been living here a long time, so it means a lot. Another young perspective we heard from is Brian, an 11-year-old who goes to Majona. Brian has been living here for six years. My favorite memory is playing soccer with the whole trailer park team. Yo soy Shelly Rojas y yo voy a la escuela de Tai. Um, tengo 17 años y estoy en el grado 12. ¿Por cuánto tiempo has vivido acá? Uh, yo he vivido aquí desde que empecé el primer grado, así que como unos 11 o 12 años. ¿Cómo te afectaría moverte a otra escuela? Um, moviéndome a otra escuela significaría que yo tendría que um, hacer nuevos amigos y involucrar, involucrarme con en diferentes actividades como a mí me gusta mi escuela porque es una escuela muy diversa entonces vas a encontrar una, un, un montón de personas de todas razas y, de, y es una comunidad, comunidad muy cercana entonces a mí me gusta estar involucrada en mi escuela como hacer deportes y estar en Clubs. Entonces, si yo 
me moví a otra escuela, como ya estoy cerca de graduarme, uh, no, no me sentiría impulsada a como seguir haciendo deportes o como involucrarme en otras actividades. Me gustaría decirles que, que como de nomás movernos de aquí no es como no es solo de hacer una decisión para hacer más dinero nomás. Está afectando como muchas familias y como sus escuelas, sus relaciones entre otras personas. Entonces está impactando a muchas personas nomás no lo pueden ver. So now that you've heard our stories, we would like you to put yourself in our position and think about what it would be like to have to move to a place you don't know, to a new neighborhood, a new school, leaving your friends behind, and also a big part of our lives will stay behind. And don't forget that we are not the only ones out there who are going through the same situation. This could happen to anyone, anywhere, and we must all stay together.